Hey guys, it's Scott Chow from the blogstarter.com here, and I'm going to give you a rundown of the Wix.com website builder. Um, and you see right now I'm actually in the website builder portion of Wix. I've already picked out a template, and I'm going to show you how to make some edits in here. Um, but I just want to mention that everything I'm going to show you here today you can do at Wix for free. Um, you don't even have to put a credit card in or anything. You just go in there and create an account with your email address. Uh, and they let you pick out a template and do all the customizations I'm going to show you here today. Um, so if you're in the market for a website builder, I definitely recommend you at least uh, give Wix a shot just because you've got nothing to lose. Um, you're not going to you know, spend any money to actually try it out. Um, so that's really cool. Um, so in terms of the templates, um, this is the template that I picked. Um, there's a ton of other templates at Wix and they're all you know really modern looking you can see this one that I've got here actually has a video background which is really cool um, but this is the template I picked um, if you have you know a particular need um, for a special type of business then there's other templates you know that might fit better with your business than this one um, but really spend some time picking out a template because that's going to get most of the work out of the way for you uh, if you can get a template that looks pretty close to how you want your site to look um, then you're going to have a lot less work to do you know, the website customizer here is really easy to use. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Um, but if you pick out a good template to begin with, then you'll be making it a lot easier for yourself. It doesn't need to be a perfect match, um, but you want something pretty close to what you're looking for for your end product for your website. So let me show you kind of a couple little edits here that we can do. Um, obviously, one of the first ones uh, here is you're going to want to change the placeholder text, um, you know, for the name. So here I'll put in my name. Um, and I'll put in my title here too. You just click edit text um, and come up here and I could put web designer. Okay. Um, and there's other little things you can do here with the text as well. You can click here. You can animate the text. So there's different animations you can do. There's a bounce in you can see there, a glide in where the text kind of glides in. I think I like that one. There's, you know, there's a bunch of other ones. Um, Maybe the fly is kind of cool. I'll go with that one. Um, so there you go. Um, and at any point, you know, if you want to see what your changes look like on your live website, you just click the preview button over here on the top right. And you can see there you see my animation uh, with my name coming in. You also see this background here. It looks like a static background if you just kind of glance at it, but actually it's a video background. You see the clouds back here are actually moving. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's one of the, those video backgrounds are... A uh, premium feature in a lot of other website editors, um, a lot of other website builders, um, and Wix has them all included in their basic packages. So that's kind of cool. So um, I'm going to go back to the editor here on the top right. Now I'm back in the editor screen here. So speaking of that video background, you know, maybe I don't like this background. I can change it. Click here, change background. Uh, there's a ton of other backgrounds. I can sort them by. I can look for another video background, for example. Maybe, um, let's see, let's go to business. Let's say, let's say you're a coffee shop and you want something kind of on, um, on topic here. So I put the coffee cup here. This is a video background. So again, if we go to the preview, we can see here there's a steam rising from the coffee cup. It's a nice subtle effect. doesn't detract too much from the rest of the page. So obviously I'm not a coffee shop, so I'm going to kind of like the regular background um, but just to kind of show you some of the other options you can go with a static image that doesn't move um, here you know if I want you know an outside image or a city image here I can check try that out um, see how that looks um, that one's kind of cool um, if I want just a plain color I can pick a color you know like that um, so I'm gonna go back to the original video that I had on there because I kind of like that one's part of the reason I chose this template with a guy climbing the rock here. Um, so, and if at any point you don't like uh, a change that you made on the site, it's really easy. You just go up here, click undo, so you can see I go back to the previous ones or click redo. Um, so you don't, don't be afraid of trying things out on your site. It's definitely part of the process. You're not going to get everything right the first time. You know, it's kind of a trial and error thing. Um, so, you know, play around with it kind of, you know, see what you want, um, try out some different things that maybe you think you wouldn't want, and you might be surprised how they look on the site. Um, if you haven't have a lot of experience designing websites before or any experience, um, sometimes what you expect is not, you know, really what you get. So 
try out some of the different things, see how they actually look. And edit any of the text here. Um, you can change the text on the button. You can change the style of the button. You know, basically it all just by clicking on it and it brings up that little edit box here. Um, you can do, here's an about me section, the way this page is laid out. Um, and one of the cool things actually, let me show you up here on the top, click on the zoom out and reorder. You can see how the whole page looks uh, from kind of a zoomed out view. So this is a long scrolling page where it's got this, you know, this top header with the, with the video background like we saw. It's got an about me section. It's got uh, a section here where I can show my different offerings here. And it's got uh, a contact section here too. So that's how this page is laid out. It's kind of a popular layout now to have that long scrolling feature. Uh, may or may not be appropriate for the type of website that you're looking to build, um, but it's one of the template options here. Um, I'll exit the zoom out here. Um, so here's the about me section. Again, I can easily edit this, you know, come in here and just click edit text. Um, let's see, I got some text here that I already created. Come in here and copy that. So there's my little short about me. Um, so change that. Uh, the image here, if I want to change the image, I can do that. Obviously this is, this is me. So if I want to do an image, um, I can do here. Got a couple of images I can do. I can do this one. Uh, if I don't like that, I can do, um, you know, just a color background. Um, and just leave it, leave it blank. Whatever I think looks best. Uh, and you can obviously, you can reorder these columns pretty easily too by clicking and dragging. Um, down here, again, you can re, um, you can change the page background for just the section of the site if you want to. So you can keep that, that cool video background up here. You can change the page background here, um, you know, click here, whatever I want to do. You know, maybe I want this video about, you know, with a computer in the background since I'm a web designer. Um, I want to show something kind of related to that here so I can do that um, and kind of see how that looks. The video, it's kind of scrolling around an office here. Um, so maybe that's, you know, what I want. Maybe I'll keep that one there. Um, I can go in and edit all the offerings here. Um, these are set up as bookings. Um, so you can link them into uh, a scheduler for yourself. If you're that have a business where you need to schedule appointments, you can do that. Um, if not, um, you can use a different thing in the section where you just, you know, kind of show what services you offer. Um, but if I want to manage bookings, I can do that here. Again, I can set up all the details here, change the payments, uh, etc. Um, so there we go. So there's that. Here's the contact section. Um, for this section, you know, for any site really should have a contact page. People can obviously, you want people to be able to get in touch with you. Um, you're looking to promote your business, so you need to give people an easy way to get in touch with you. So very easy. You just go in and edit the address and whatnot here. And then the one thing you'll definitely want to make sure you edit is, uh, the email address that these emails get sent to. So you go to settings, your email address should be here already, whatever email address you signed up with for the account. Um, so that makes sure anyone who who enters in a message there, it's getting sent to the, your email address. So that's kind of the basics of the site. Um, obviously we're sticking pretty closely to the template here. There's a lot more stuff you can do. You can get a lot more creative and customize stuff a lot more. You know, if I want to add in some, some page element that's not here, um, you can just go over here to the left, the left menu and click add. And there's a bunch of different page elements. I can add in, you know, a text somewhere. I can add in an image gallery if I want to buttons, you know, video, uh, social stuff. So for example, if I want, you know, to show links to my Facebook page, my Twitter account, etc., I can do that. So I just, um, here we go. I click that. I can click and drag this wherever I want. Say I want it up here, put it right there. So there you go. Then you can go in and edit this and actually put your actual links in there. So it makes it very easy. You know, even if you don't see something in the template that you chose, for example, like those social links, it's very easy to add. You just go over here on the add page um, and go ahead and do that. Um, and this is all just for my home page. This is the main page people would see when they come here, but you have a bunch of other pages on your website here. You see the menu here um, and you can navigate to those pages and edit them as well. You know, for example, if I want to have a blog on my site, I can click over here to navigate to the blog page. You know, here's the template they have set up for for the blog page. Obviously I can edit all this stuff. Um, I can click manage posts and add blog posts. Um, there's a variety of other, you know, things you can do on the various other pages too. If I want to have a forum on my site, if I want to have a separate events page, uh, you just navigate to all those and 
um, you know, go in and, and edit and do whatever you're, uh, you're, you know, you're looking to do for your website. Um, but again, you know, picking a good template, uh, is the main thing. Um, and the really cool thing about Wix too, is that you can do all this stuff free. You basically just click on a link that's on my page. It'll take you to Wix.com and you just go in there and uh, create an account. Just put your email in and your name. You don't have to put in a credit card or anything like that. And then you can pick a template, come in here and actually customize it um, and make your site look the way you want it to. And then if it looks good, you know, then you can, you know, pay for the service, put your site, you know, live online. But if you're not happy with it, you know, hey, you haven't lost anything except for a little bit of time, you know, trying it out. So if you're in the market for a website builder, I definitely would say at least give Wix a shot. Um, see if it's something that, you know, fits with what you need. And if not, like I said, you've done, you know, you haven't lost any money because, you know, you've gone in and you've, you've tested it out for free. Um, so yeah, feel free. Um, contact me if you guys have any questions. Uh, the contact forms on my site at theblogstarter.com. You can uh, get at me there. Um, and best of luck building your website.